wow, I hit a rare wrong chord. I, I never know. <laughs> Well, to say nothing that I played 25th floor with the entire wrong key, I mean, it's just... <laughs> oh, oh, D, there was a little bump. I was just seeing if Tony was awake. I, just... I thought it sounded... this home now. <laughs> Actually, in case you're wondering why I do so much patter, is I'm really trying to get on one of those Geico commercials. <laughs> They're actually funny. I actually sit there by myself in my room laughing at Geico commercials. That's what happens, you know, when you get to a certain period of life. Hey, whoa. 
remember it well. There were some fearful wolves in the forest of Gubbio, and the people feared that their children, chasing little butterflies, would go into the forest and be eaten. And in truth, a few children were missing. No one went into the forest to gather truffles or little mushrooms. No one went into the forest at all. And at night they could hear the wolves howl. Oh! One day, the humble monk Francis he wasn't a saint then, he was just a humble monk. Came into Gubbio and said, I'd love some truffles on my pasta. And they said, oh no, Francis, sorry, we can't go into the forest because there are demon wolves in the forest. And he said, no, that's a demon wolf. <laughs> Come on, let's have a few demon wolves. How about the boy who wanted to be my boyfriend? Let's hear some wolfing. In any event, Francis said, and rightly so, all God creatures are good. Let me go into the forest and talk to the wolves. <gasps> no, 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 Francis, don't. He will eat you. They will eat you. And all that will be left will be the remains of your humble sackcloth robe. He said, fear not. And he went into the forest of Gubbio. And he saw the wolves awaiting. Their eyes were red and their teeth were dripping with blood. Maybe that's gone too far. <laughs> Francis came up to them and said, Hello, little friends. And they said, Francis, this is not Sesame Street. You're in a scary forest in Rubio, and we are man-eating wolves. really did love every living thing. And every little thing, every living fin, paid him in kind, the birds upon his shoulders, and all of the rabbits in the fields, and the children, everyone loved him, and so did the wolves. And Francis, and this is a tw true 12th century tale, walked out of the forest of Gubbio with the wolves at his side and the people rejoiced and from then on the wolf was beloved second only to the humble saint on a lonely night on a golden road. Night is a mongrel. Believe or explode. <laughs>